All right. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to my 2021 gaming setup. I haven't done a gaming setup video in a while. And first up, I wanna give a big shout out to ASUS for sponsoring part of this video. And don't forget guys, hit the subscribe button and notification icon to check out more videos from the channel. So in the gaming setup, of course, this is a PC gaming setup, things you need. Now, the very first thing is what I am sitting on. This is the human scale freedom headrest uh, chair. This is a really nice chair. It's not a gaming chair, but it's really comfortable because it's one of the chairs that gives you really good posture. It's got a nice headrest I can land on. And while I'm gaming, uh, it allows me to stay in good posture and game for a long period of time. I also love it because if I switch back to doing re regular workload, it's a great chair to use as well. Now, the next thing of course you need for a PC gaming setup is a desk. This is also from Human Scale. This is the Human Scale uh, float, and this is a standing desk. I like standing desks because it allows me to get up, do my work differently, and it's quite easy to use. So like, we go ahead, boom, there we go. We can pull it up, we can stand, and we can start working, we can pull up documents. You can also game standing if you want to. That's just, you know, your choice. Now, they do have a couple of different versions of it. They have the floats, uh, the e-floats, they've got the flex. This is just a regular float. This is a mechanical mechanism. It's got a little bar right here that you can see that allows me to basically press this, pull it up or push it down. So I can go ahead and push this down. Boom, and that's it. Now, I preferred the uh, mechanical version just because it allowed me to do some extra work, you know, that's it. Either way, how does it work? It, it works with the amount of weight that's on top to give you that mo uh, pressure so you can go up and down with uh, the table. And speaking of the stuff I have on here, I've got some really cool gear. Start off with the keyboard, right? This is the uh, ROG Streak Scope TKL. This is, of course, the Electropunk Edition. I like it, of course, first of all, the colors are just really cool. I've been playing a lot of Cyberpunk, so for me, this actually blends in quite well. Also matches with the table, 10 keyless, uh, red cherry keys, really nice keyboard, just simple and easy to use. Now, next up here, we've got the Baltus uh, Qi gaming uh, mouse pad. You're thinking, okay, Qi wireless charging. Yes, it's got Qi wireless charging built in because you can wirelessly charge your mouse right here overnight, which is pretty cool. Or you can, of course, charge your smartphone at the corner. So I like doing that while I'm gaming because I can have my phone directly, I can charge it and also do some stuff. But speaking of the mouse here, this is the Chakram Gaming Mouse. Uh, it's a really nice solid mouse. It's got some really great features. Um, we've got over 10,000 DPI, um, you know, some fast responses. Great, especially when you're playing games like Modern Warfare, uh, especially the new maps, which I just started getting into. But it's a great experience using, using this overall. And I like the combination here. So the Baltus has two USB uh, ports. Again, you need that for uh, connectivity for the RGB lights you can see all across. Uh, it also has an extra port here, uh, which works specifically just for the Qi wireless charging because of course you need extra power for that. You can of course uh, put in the USB port here, dongle, so in case you want to connect something else. But I do have my Baltus connected to my ROG throne here. Now I like the throne as a headphone stand and you're thinking, okay, look, it's got RGB colors. It's really cool, it's nice, but it does much more than just have RGB uh, lighting for your headphones. It has a built-in ESS Sabre DAC, 7.1 surround sound. You've got a, a headphone jack as well. Uh, you really can't see it because it's black, but uh, this thing gives you all the connectivity for the sound you want. So if you want to use wired headphones or you want to use, um, you know, 7.1 surround sound, you can use it with it. Plus it's also got wireless charging as well. So you can actually charge your devices again. That's pretty cool. Now the headset here, this is a really nice headset. This is the Delta S uh, headset. It is super comfortable to wear, especially for long gaming sessions. And you've got some very simple layouts of buttons. You've got your volume toggle right here. Then you've got your uh, lighting. You can have, of course, uh, multi, you know, just a strobe lighting of different colors. You, of course, you can cycle 
in between colors and then you can just switch it off. And you can do that with the ROG Streak software anyway, uh, but I do like to have it on like this. Very, very comfortable headset. I mean, you put it on, you can game for quite a while. The mic is pretty good and clean. Uh, and again, it just kind of works well with this setup. Now, of course you're thinking, You've seen this big monitor here, you're going Thunder E, that is massive. Uh, this is a 43 inch monitor from ASUS. Uh, this bad boy here uh, is uh, resolution 3840 by uh, 1200. I like this monitor, especially gaming. It's got a lot of gaming features. You can see in the top right hand corner right now you're looking, it's showing you uh, FPS counter, it's also refresh rate at the corner of the screen. That's pretty cool because it's built into the monitor. So if you're playing a game like Cyberpunk and you want to kind of just run your FPS and see how it actually performs, instead of you messing around with software, you can do it directly from the monitor. It's sRGP rating of 90%, which is nice if you still want to do some editing on here, uh, which I do from time to time. Uh, but the screen real estate when you're gaming on this bad boy is impressive. I mean, it's just so nice. Again, if you're playing COD, you can see the map around you. You can actually get into your gameplay session. If you're playing uh, Cyberpunk 2077, it gives you just a wider view of the world as well. So you've got all that there. Uh, it's got connectors for HDMI at the back. You've got, of course, display port as well. So you've got all the connections you need uh, to, to run everything. And speaking of connections and what you're running, that's my rig right there. That is a rig I built earlier this year. This bad boy is a mixture of different components. The case is from NZXT and uh, we've got a ton of uh, parts in there. Uh, so the motherboard is an ASUS motherboard. We've also got the ROG Strig uh, 2080 Ti, great card to game. Um, this is running a Threadripper. Uh, I believe this is third gen Threadripper. I can't remember the specs off head because I'm thinking of building a new rig, but performance wise, this bad boy is a beast. Plus I've got that really cool CPU cooler from NZXT. You can see Superman just huffing and puffing and blowing out there. I also like the fact that the uh, motherboard has just my temperature gauge so I can just look and see it directly. It's a great gaming setup and you've got a lot of cables coming through. It's so one more thing from uh, human skill I really like is the cable management. I am terrible with that stuff, absolutely bad. But I like the fact that when you kind of look at what they have here with the cable management system, I'll leave the link links for all of them down below. It does a really good job of hiding all the cables I have, which I have a ton of cables because I've got some LED lighting around with Philips Hue. I've got cables underneath for my monitor, my keyboard, stuff from the PC, all is neatly tucked in right underneath on there. So it's, it's pretty cool. And of course, the last thing is my um, recording mic. I tend to use the HyperX uh, Quadcast mic. This is a Quadcast S, RGB lighting, tap to, of course, mute, which is pretty cool. And uh, this arm is from Blue Microphone. So that is my gaming setup, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and you definitely like it. Uh, this is what I'm doing starting off for 2021. I'll be refreshing it from time to time so you guys can see different things and what I'll be using on here. But at this point in time, I'm going to go back and play some Cyberpunk 2077. So thank you very much. And if there's anything you want to pick up, use the links down below for either the stuff from ASUS, also from Human Scale, uh, PC parts as well. I'll link to the PC video for you guys. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and let's start gaming.